All right, let's continue tuning if you're watching later on YouTube. Thanks for clicking. Have you been enjoying this one so far? We're up to a nice forest area, which I'm sure is going to be calm and not difficult, right? Right? Cheese platter? It's, it's Thursday. Like, if I'm going to do that, it's going to be on the weekend. Also, I'd have to buy stuff. Alright. I didn't feel like getting my ears destroyed by a recorder today, so... Isn't it nice? Okay. So. Oh, the music in this whole soundtrack is nice. The music in this whole game, the soundtrack is nice, jeez. Nice English. I'm waiting for the weekend. And I don't have to think about work. Survival tips. Wait, the powder... Oh. The powder... It looks like the powder and the fruit replenishes that, and then herbs. Something about extra damage. I mean, I've seen stuff like that before. Tired all the time thinking about stamina points. Coins on page 20. I mean, I still haven't figured out how to upgrade. But ha this is the thing that I, I haven't done yet, is be able to upgrade. Like, I'm not sure what my character stats are. Like, I have these things, it's just I haven't found a way to use them yet. Or at least I haven't interpreted it yet. Rotating the camera for some reason here. Almost like something's supposed to happen. It's alright, I'm enjoying the piece. Continue further. No, okay. Oh shit, this thing. Get out. <laughs> ah, fuck. stamina so from what I've interpreted of the manual like where is it there was something that looked like yeah there 
This is the part that I have to interpret it. A press left. Oh. Oh, fuck. Right, but this is just gonna offer. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Left button to offer it. But I don't I don't want points, like there has to be a way to upgrade. What was the one that I saw? Hold on. There are base that hang on, what is this? Card. Where was it? Then there's this, like, coins for the well. I haven't figured that out yet, either. I love this manual aesthetic, though. This... It says on page 24... I don't have page 24, okay, that's why. But that bottom right corner, like, it talks about dead shrines. Alright, so, hold on. Oh, no shit. See, I don't know what any of these mean. There's a potion, there's a potion one. Wait, oh, that becomes magic. That's health. Hang on, I can see this. That's the same. I'm just saying what this changes. now. Did I see the point in offering those claw items for just currency? I think I got my... My body back. I think that's the clever thing about this game is the manual. It, that, that's how Zelda 1 felt to me. It was like in an alien language and then I was just playing the game to figure out what exactly was going on. will be down here. I don't know if I want to fight these things. The problem is they gang up on me. Maybe I can lure one like this. Over here. Oh, no! <laughs> the sex were made! I'm dead. <laughs> Fuck. Ugh. What the hell? Why didn't they appear when I got there the first time?
That's what happens when you try to be clever. The aesthetic for this game is so nice, though. You want to make a really difficult game? Just make it look like this. <laughs> I feel like my patience level is so much higher because of it. Oh. Alright, so the... Okay. What, why? What, why is there a second one? Wow, that disables you for such a long time. Okay, hang on. Um, I need hook shot. Is it gone? I think it's gone. No, it's not. Wait. Oh. Oh. Okay, so that's what that is. Enemies will randomly drop health. That's what the card does. Alright, I'm gonna use my body to... lure them. Okay. <laughs> now, what I was trying to do last time... Oh my god. That's bad. I can only get one hit in before having to dodge. Uh Let's look at this carefully. There's three over there. I have to I have to lure them one by one. Oh my god, they're so fast. <laughs> okay. I separated them. Dude, the timing on it is so annoying. I take a swing and there's just so much time. There has to be an easy way to fight those things. Or maybe my timing's just off. Maybe it's dodge and then attack. Okay, that's what it is. That's what it is, more or less. But it's just annoying because they attack so quickly, so your stamina just drains. Yeah, the contrast is very calm music, very calm looking world. And, uh, just... Hell. <laughs> Thank you. 
It's not a fox. It is a fox, yes. It might not look it, but this is a Souls game. Uh-oh. Okay, I'm fine. What does the fox say? You know what? I have no idea. I don't think I've ever seen a fox in real life. It's a song? <laughs> I don't know. Is that a song everywhere or just a song? I never saw that weird video, no. I mean, maybe I have, like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I have, like... I don't know, maybe I have, maybe I haven't. Everyone knows the Fox song. Well, I'm terrible with names, like, maybe I have, and I just don't know that's the Fox song. Like, fuck. <laughs> like, everyone's having a fucking connection because I haven't listened to these songs. <laughs> Watch it now. <sighs> But I can't play it, I can't play it, because if it's music, DMCA. Okay, I'll tell you what, I'll play it on my phone. I'll play it on my phone. Just watch it mute, it'll mute the audio of this. I'll play it on my phone. Uh, hold on, let me just load up chat on my phone. You might have to link it, link it again in a sec. Not yet. Oh. Yep, the, uh, the YouTube, <laughs> the YouTube link on mobile Twitch chat, not allowed to click it. That's so, that's so, so fucking smart, Twitch. Um. <sighs> Fuck. Hold on. Okay, I just looked up the name. This is derail this is just another one of these derailing conversations, isn't it? Okay. Alright. What does the fuck say? I got it. I'm muting myself, I'm listening. I pa I paused. What the fuck am I watching?
I almost feel like just go going over to my computer and just unplugging the ethernet cable so then I don't get any more internet today like I, I think that's it I definitely did not see that and I kind of wish <laughs> ignorance is bliss you know How did I exist? <laughs> well, there are plenty of things I just did not see. <laughs> Thank you for the follow as well. Whatever that was, it scrolled up, I missed it. <sighs> just... You know, it's possible for someone not to see that. It just depends where that got popular. If it was on social media, that might be why, because I just I actively avoid social media for the most part. That's like not knowing Gangnam style. All right, I know that one at least. I mean, okay, I'm gonna say there's like a vague familiarity to it because it quite possibly could have been played as a meme song. Like when I was out and about somewhere. The start of it did, was not familiar, but then when it kicked in, I was like, okay, I feel like I've heard this, but I'm not positive. I hate this thing. But at least I know how to fight it now. Okay, okay, let, let me ask you this. How many of you have seen the chicken yodeling song? Huh? Hmm? Yeah. Hear nothing but silence. Interesting. Oh, this is fucked. <laughs> Was that a worldwide song? Are you kidding? The most worldwide of worldwide songs. It went all the way from Japan all the way to, uh, to Germany. I'm not kidding. <laughs> I'm not gonna play it because DMCA, however, I will link it in chat. Alright. There we go. <laughs> How can you not be happy with a man and his chickens? I love that I'm just actively telling people to go watch something else. That's such a great thing for me to do. These gators are gonna cause problems. Or are they crocodiles? Yeah, I'm trying to think nine years ago. Nine years ago. I don't know. <laughs> to be fair, Japan and Germany are basically the same. What do you mean? <laughs> How are they basically the same? In what way?
One country is in Asia, the other one is in Europe. <laughs> oh, there's an oh, there's an underpass, yeah. I mean, I guess if you want to talk about the 30s, sure. <laughs> but. I, I don't know. This is like the second time I've been forced to watch like a Scandinavian music video. You know that, right? <laughs> it's the second time. Who's forcing me? Well, you better watch it. Well, watch it. Yeah. Oh my God, watch it. Well, why? Why haven't you seen this? Oh my God, you need to see this. <laughs> There's at least six messages in all caps. This whole area is going to be an ordeal just because of these enemies. You don't want me to have FOMO. Well... You know what? That video is nine years old. There are going to be Zoomers that don't know what that is. So it's fine. You guys with your Boomer references. Yeah, I said it! <laughs> oh dear. Wait, the song actually has information and learning potential. And you can say that about any song. Notorious, Notorious B.I.G. made a song about how to sell crack. That has educational value. The Elvis brothers in general, what uh, do they do? Kids' music? Good. It's entertainment. I tell ya. You Scandinavians really do live on the opposite ends of the earth. If that's entertainment. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Put me all near down. I was only kidding. How am I gonna do it? Unless I can sneak past.
Oh, fuck me. Go aggressive, go aggressive. Oh. I feel like the only way I'm gonna do this is with explosives. Wait, what? I missed it. What did she say? What did Nikto say? I didn't get it. Oh shit. <laughs> Game audio is muted. Thank you. <laughs> I think it's ruined. I, I blame the Norwegian music. Thank you. Now I have like two minutes of the VOD that I, I, I'm gonna have to improvise. Thank you for that. <laughs> what am I gonna do? Did that even do anything? Hang on, they're separated. Oh my god, you just run you just run out of stamina so easily with these things. It's alright, I'll I'll just be clever and overlay the game soundtrack on top of it in post production. It'll be fine. I won't be able to do anything about the sound effects though. Mouth the sound effects. That works. <laughs> Catching. No, I'll just on the up here, like just sword, shield, sword, dodge, shield, sword, dodge, shield, sword, sword, sword. Damage. Brush up on my beatboxing. Can I beatbox? I can't beatbox, no. At a... I wouldn't say young age, but I'd say young-ish age. I got put off from beatboxing. My uncle was really into beatboxing. Until one day... He recorded himself using his computer beatboxing. And so... I, uh... I made the sound of his computer starting up him beatboxing. And he didn't know how to remove it. So the, when he booted up his computer the next time, my cousins were hanging around with him, and then... His computer started up and it was him beatboxing, and he couldn't turn it off. The fuck is this? How do you turn this off, man? <laughs> Put it back, that's how it used to be, come on! Ugh. I think I was like 10 at the time. Alright, man, I get it, it's funny, come on, put it back. <laughs> to be fair, the beatbox... The beatboxing wasn't bad.
My uncle sounds funny. He's funny, yeah. He's... Uh, the best worst influence you could have. A sentence I would hear often was just... I don't want you- I don't want to see you do this. And the friends he used to hang out with. I'm not gonna use the real name, but he had a he had a friend called Jose. Let's just say Jose. And this guy was like a hustler in the true sense. Just no matter where he went, that guy would always try to get a discount. So there was once where Jose wanted to go shopping. And before we went shopping. Because I used to mess around with Photoshop. He he took a photo of me and my uncle. And another friend. And then he was like, alright, I want you... To make a flyer, to make it sound like we're performing at a club down the road. I was like, why? He's like, just do it. I'm like, alright, fine. So, just a few minutes, made it. Printed it out. So then, you know... They gave me a ride home. I was at their house. And we stopped by, um, the local shopping mall. So, Jose walks into this clothing chain. And he said he's in a new- he's in a boy band. A new boy band. And he starts handing out these flyers to everyone inside the clothing shop. And he walks up, wants to see the manager, and says that he wants to wear clothing from the store to promote the store, and was wondering if he could get a discount. Man got his discount after like five minutes. This wasn't so hard to believe because, okay. My uncle was in a movie not a good movie, mind you, but a movie. Somehow, through one of his friends, their uncle was a movie director. And, uh... Not Hollywood. <laughs> We're talking about Middle Eastern films. So he... He somehow got to be in a movie... That uh, got pretty popular amongst the Afghani community. Community. So there were already posters of my uncle around. So he kind of used that as backup. He was like, yeah, look at this. You've seen these posters around, right? It's like, oh yeah, you're. I, I guess you're in this movie. I guess they're not bullshitting about the boy band. Sir. <laughs> Does he still do his hustling? Yeah, that guy... His dad was the same. His dad, um, he's one of those dudes that just gets, uh, like hard rubbish and kind of gets the good stuff and resells it. His dad was one of those people that would sell at flea markets, basically. So always on the lookout for stuff to sell or stuff that people throw out that he can maybe fix. That was his dad. Also, hey Lolo, how's it going, man? Does my uncle speak Afghani? He does not. Not a single word. M my uncle is like stereotypical Latino. If you if you were to see the two of us side by side, you'd be like, how are you two related? Our mannerisms are completely different, and you know, he looks more like he's from Central America. I don't. How did that happen? Simple. He, he grew- a part of his life he spent over there. I didn't. I spent 99% of my life here. That's as simple as that. When he got here, I didn't really get to have much of an education, so, yeah. Do 
but anyway he played a, a villain in the movie how did my uncle end up in the film through a friend of his his uncle was the film director and so they wanted the whole film it was like about temptation and sin more or less and how it's bad so my uncle played a bad guy who tempted this guy down a bad path of crime, basically. The villain to this movie, his name was Cobra. And every time this dude came on screen, like, it was just... This robotic voice would say Cobra. With an echo. And then it would zoom into his eyes and he had, like, uh... Fake... Like, contact lenses that had Cobra eyes, basically. Dude had really long hair. The guy was supposed to represent the devil, clearly, but you know, it was... My uncle spoke English throughout most of the movie, except one line where they were filming at the beach. And then, um... I guess they, they didn't have correct gear. So, they had to dub my uncle's voice, so my uncle had a completely different voice and was speaking Afghani for like 20 seconds and uh oh man it's a good thing that it was supposed to be funny at that point we went to the movie premiere of this thing by the way the beach in afghanistan no this was filmed in melbourne mrs ham just to be clear <laughs> it was filmed here Yeah. The, the I call it this thing because all right, here's the it's it's such a low budget movie to the point where it's no budget. I cannot I cannot uh, do it justice. They were there were there were fight scenes in this movie. Now imagine every time someone lands a punch, the sound effect from Street Fighter plays. That's what we're talking about. That's why, I, yes, I'm calling it this thing. <laughs> you have to see this movie. You can probably find it. I'm not going to say the name of it, though. I actually have a copy of it. giving Nigerian Hollywood vibes. I would say it's a level above that. It's not like that. It's definitely... Like, the thing is, the film has care to it, and it does... I'm, I'm sure the story it tells is right. It's just... It is low budget. It really is. Man, I'm just not getting anywhere here. I need to focus. But yeah, the guy was a hustler in the truest sense. Do you, do you want to hear a, another story about Jose? I'll tell you another story about Jose. That is if I stay alive long enough to do so. Okay. So my cousin was out of work. And he was looking for work. He came over to my uncle's house. I was there. Hanging out. And I had the newspaper. He asked me for the, the paper so he could look at the help wanted. And, you know, they call them the classifieds. Whatever. So he's browsing through it. And right next to the classifieds, they have the, um... I don't know what they call it. It's like a services section, more or less. So he sees... He sees an ad for something called Latin Escorts. Just a pretty big damn ad. And 
I mean, if you know anything about communities, right? Like, it's a thing where people know each other. Especially when you're talking about a smaller town. So he sees this ad and he's like, who the fuck could this be? Because, you know, there's not a whole lot of us in that area. And then he looks at the phone number and he's like, wait a minute. He checks his phone and sure enough, it's Jose's, it's Jose's phone number. So he gets my uncle and he's like, did you know Jose has got an escort service? What? Look, neither of them knew this. No one knew this. So they call the, they call the escort service up. He pretends to have a receptionist. He puts on a voice. So like he has a receptionist. And then he plays some music to make it sound like they've been put on hold. When it's like pretty, pretty fucking obviously not. They were not put on hold. So he does the full thing. Just like, you know, make, make them wait like a little bit. And then, yeah, he just does this full on sales pitch and make it, it makes it sound like he has a team of 20 escorts just ready to go. And, you know, he asks about the needs and, you know, what kind of, uh, man they're looking for and at the end he goes i think i got the perfect candidate i'll send you jose <laughs> it's just like fucking hell it was like a 15 com 15 minute conversation and multiple times like we just had to stick our heads in a pillow because we were just laughing that fucking hard like just the lengths he was going to to make this seem like it was legitimate business like a small business with 20 escorts and then of those 20 ah yes we've handpicked jose for you was he ever hired apparently yes i don't know how long it lasted because they just kept giving him shit they'd be hanging out and then you know one of them would call another and the other one would answer yes latin escorts this is jose speaking Ah, yes, I have the perfect man for you. His name is Jose. Anyway. I swear, I, I could write a sitcom. My uncle could easily be a sitcom character. The same with the people he, hu he hung out with, just... Alright. Well, this is fun. I'm not gonna use this. I, I have a plan. I have a plan. I, I wanna try. I just need to make sure I do well. Okay. The boy band one I think was my favorite, honestly. Because the, the manager lady spent like 20 minutes with them picking out a, an outfit. Jose has done even more shenanigans no one has discovered yet. Yeah, most likely. I mean... I was uh, young-ish. 
at the time when they still hung out on a very regular basis. Towards the end, I was definitely a teenager, so... The escort service where he is the receptionist, a pimp, and multiple people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm sure there are others that I've forgotten about. Every girl wants what you imagine is a middle-aged rotund man. No, this guy was like an... At the time, he was in his late 20s. Like, 26... Seven, I think. I forget the time. My uncle's not that old. Like he, he was, uh... How old was he when I was born? He, he was young, so... Out of 10, what was Jose? I don't know. I was fucking 10 at the time. What do you want from me? <laughs> like... The memory on him is reconstructive at this point. The last time I saw him, I probably would have been 13 years old. If not 12. I wasn't, uh, thinking about that kind of stuff. Okay, how about this? It was believable that he could be in a boy band. Because boy band implies that you kind of have to have some looks, right? And for that to be believable, you have to... Have some sort of look. Is that is that fair to say? I don't know who you're referencing, though. If I look them up, it'll make sense. But then I have to tab out, and the game will get muted unless I pull out my phone. Why is why did that? Why did what? Why? Why? How? What? What? Why did that? Out? What? What? <laughs> why did that one get aggroed? Is it still there? Oh my god. Okay, hold on. 
Just don't panic. The others haven't seen me yet. Okay. This is probably a good thing. I just have to be calm. <laughs> Not as well as that could have gone. Alright, I'll look it up on my phone just for you, Mr. Sam. American actor. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> That's the thing, it's... My memories of him are, are just... His actions and less about how he looked. I will say there was a period that I remember that he used to pretend he was a DJ. I can't remember why, but he had he had this thing where he had a turntable in his car to kind of sell the bit. It was like a non-functional turntable. It was one he picked up off the side of the street. And he had it in his car to sell the fact that he was a DJ, and I'm not sure why he wanted to do that. I just I vaguely recall that conversation once. Just how they were laughing at the fact that he... He was pretending to be a DJ with a turntable that he picked off the side of the road. To sell it. What was his actual job? I don't know. I wouldn't- I would not be able to tell you. He knew my uncle because they met uh, in high school. Because the high school they went to had a lot of immigrants from the country we're from, and so that's how they met. I mean, no shit. He would he would he would probably call himself an entrepreneur. I'm I'm not kidding. Oh my god. I just remembered what I can't I can't say the business name. I can't say it. But you know how um Alright, this is a bit of a boomer reference, but like in Seinfeld, Kramer named his business after himself and he called himself Kramerica Industries. Basically that with his own real name. And it was Enterprises. It was like his real name Enterprises. Just imagine a very Spanish name, then Enterprises. <laughs> Jose Enterprises, yes. And it would say CEO, not owner, he's a CEO. CEO and founder of Jose Enterprises. Probably add chairman as well, like. 
See a founder and chairman of Jose Enterprises. Ah, oh, fuck. All right, anyway. I forgot to answer about like I'm sure they had their own version of Dave back in those days. And for those that missed out on Dave, Dave was a friend of mine that used to uh, do promotions for clubs. So whenever you'd go out, you'd get messages from Dave. We'll talk to Dave directly and he'd be like, when you get to the door, all right, this is what you do. You tell them Dave sent you, yeah? Dave's list. You get one dollar off entry. <laughs> they probably had their own version of Dave, I'm sure. Those kind of promoters are kind of, uh, timeless. Mess with my uncle and ask what happened to him. I don't know. Next time I see him, maybe. I don't think he's seen him in years, so. Okay, this is this is the way. I have to let my stamina recover, but I mean that's the thing. There's always someone like that at your school that just has that hustler mentality, or... It's, it's just a trope of a character. Do you want to know what it's like to be around people like that? when okay when i say that something is going to go wrong and like someone's going to start a fucking fire you know metaphorically speaking i'll point out exactly what could go wrong because i'm like you probably shouldn't do that case in point like the first time my uncle went on a chat room I was like, hey man, just just be careful, you know. <laughs> Sometimes people try to send you viruses, and sure enough, the very next day, you know, him, my cousin, and their friend are huddled around. Supposedly he's talking to some some girl. And then this girl's going to send him a picture. I'm watching, and this thing pops up, and this person's trying to send him a file that quite clearly isn't a picture. It has the extension SCR. And I'm like, that's not a picture, that's a virus. Oh, okay. Glitch passive. Excellent. Alright, that's this game covered. <laughs> um, so, you know, quite clearly a virus, I tell him. And he's just, his response is, Don't worry. Don't worry. That's, that's like how he holds it in, more or less. He opens the file, computer goes to shit immediately. So, it's just... The amount of times I heard, don't worry, and then something lighting on fire, metaphoric metaphorically speaking, of course, between them. Yeah. My uncle living on dial-up internet is trying to get smart. I talked about this the other night. I'm just trying to look up smart back in those days. If you the, the dial-up part wasn't the struggle, because it's all relative, right? Like, media was sized appropriately for the time. The problem was, if you needed to look at smart or, any, or do anything on the internet late at night, just pull out your phone, 
put an alarm and just make that alarm go off for, for 30 seconds straight. And then you can't do anything to turn the alarm off. That's basically what it was to connect to the internet. So you used to have to... Sm I had to smother the phone with a fucking pillow because it was just that loud. That's That's a struggle right there. The pillows worked, yeah. Alright. I got I got another I got another story. It's it's story night. Cozy story night whilst I try to survive with the fox. I'll say it, an uncle of mine. One one day was tired of people barging in to his room without knocking first. This is what led to this. So, you know, they're pretty handy. They know how to make stuff. I'd say they're pretty competent at constructing things. Like if you needed a shelf built or something, they could do it. Or a piece of furniture, they could do it. They could. So, you know, he wanted something that had a lock on it, but not a flimsy lock that you could uh, kind of brute force, let's say. And he wanted the door to be a little, little bit, little bit sturdier. So he got, he got the idea. Hey, why don't I go down to the hardware store, the big one that we have here in Australia? I'm gonna say it that way, but so you understand the context. I'll go purchase a door that is intended to be a front door, and then I'll put that as a door to my room. Those have excellent locks. So me, I was studying graphic design in high school. Now I, for those that don't know this, and I'm, I'm gonna say it, uh, walls have different thicknesses. There's a thing as an outside wall and an inside wall. So that means that, that your front door is gonna have a different thickness and sort of specification to a door that's say a door to a room. So anyway, he gets this door and he brings the door in, and I'm like, that's a front door. And he's like, yeah, it's gonna work great, don't worry. No, but like, an inside door is different to an outside door, it's not gonna work. Don't worry, I'll make it work, I'll make it fit. So he spends the afternoon trying to fit in this door to his room, and to his credit, he did get it, you know, attached to the frame, and he opened and closed it a couple times, it was fine. But then on the third attempt, to open and close it to show my other uncle the door got stuck so then you know he's a strong dude he tries to get it unstuck and then the door handle falls off on the other side so now he has this door that he can't open that's locked so he has to break into his own bedroom through the window because there's no other way in so then he had to get the window fixed as well. And then he had to remove the door and put back the door he had before. Don't worry, Will. I will make it fit. What kind of door handle is that? Not one intended for an inside door. It was intended to be a front door. There was nothing inside about the door. The door was 100% supposed to be the entry to a house, not a bedroom. Don't worry. Don't worry. You're overthinking it.
It's like oak with golden bolts. Yep, picture something like that. The more, the more, like, you just think of a door that you look at it and it's quite obviously, oh, are they replacing the front door? No, this is going in a bedroom. Why? Just, all you need to know is that it fell off. That's it. This is bad. I need to separate these two or I'm, I'm screwed. Okay, here we go. I'm just not going to answer any other questions relating to the door. It's best that I leave it that way. I think a story is better when you're left asking yourself questions. Like, I can't change the events that happened. That's, that's just what happened. <laughs> the plip I love just how perplexing it is. It's thought-provoking, isn't it? There's a chest over there that I want to get to. Alright, but I think... Finally I'm getting somewhere here. Oh, there's another gator. Alright, let's target you first. Shit. Oh, no! Fuck. Oh, that's that's so annoying. Okay, come on. Please separate. Please separate. Separate! Okay, no. Okay, we got it, we got it, we got it. <laughs> These things are so frustrating, man. Ugh. Okay. Yes. Challenge the player. Puts multiple alligators together. Don't move. Stay there. Good. <laughs> Your personal favorite is putting a bucket of water over the door. What, like in terms of injuring someone? Oh, like, to, I should have knocked type scenario. I mean, the context here, we're talking about my grandma that would barge in. So, I don't think... I don't think my uncle would have had the guts to do that. It doesn't matter how old you are, you're never too old to get hit with a broomstick. My grandma is very old school chat. Once my uncle went to Thailand and he brought home a statue of a dragon, a really nice statue. And then when my grandma came home and saw it, 
she hit him with a broom because it, he had brought the devil into the house. <laughs> Just that's 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 how my grandma's like. I mean, pr product of a different fucking era. I'll tell you that much. Like. There are times where I just forget that. I forget that sometimes. Something will happen and then I'm like, oh yeah, right. <laughs> that. It's alright, he put it outside. That was the compromise. As long as it wasn't in the house. Made a nice garden statue. I just realized I just brought... I mean, we'll see. This is progress, but I may have brought the things back to life. No hate to grandma, but that thought process is archaic. It is. It is, yeah. I 100% agree. Don't worry. I know it's not a disrespect thing. Like... She's just a product of a different era. She comes from Central America, where, you know, that sort of thing is prominent, especially in the year she was born in. She's just... When she was around, people that were left-handed were considered, uh, no good. And they forced them to use their right hand because it was considered an instrument of the devil, that sort of stuff. But, you know, it doesn't represent me. It's, uh, that's not how I am. I'm quite the polar opposite to what she believes in, but we still get along. Am I the only lefty? No. I have three other bro- I have three brothers, and two of us are lefties, so... And there's other lefties in the family as well. But it's just the older generation. I don't know if any of them would have gotten that treatment, but... You know, my mom and uncles and dad and uncles, they grew up in a civil war-torn country, so... Things were different for them. You were, you were told to never sleep in front of a mirror because a demon would steal your soul, or to never whistle at night because it would wake the sleeping spirits. Damn. I mean, yeah, man. You got told that stuff, and at a certain point, there's... You talk to anyone who had an upbringing with that sort of stuff, there's always a turning point where just something... Something just doesn't add up to you, and it's just... It's a turning point, it's just... There's always something. Wait, Nick, though, they forced lefties to be righties in your school? Really? That was not a thing here in Australia. I, ha I hate these gators. I, I can deal with the swordsman, but this gator! <laughs> okay, hang on. I might be able to get it out. Ah, oh, crap. Have I ever been there? Been where? Back to where my family's from? No. I mean, it's probably something I want to do one day, but it's kind of on the bottom of the list. My idea of travel, I guess, is to go somewhere that feels a little unfamiliar. And whilst, don't get me wrong, there's de there's definitely a, a bit of, uh... A bit of that. It's just, at the end of the day... I don't know. It's not a priority, and... Here's the reason why, is a lot of people that I know... 
Um, I mean, I guess I have to say family. I can't really do it. I don't mean this disrespectfully if any family listens to this at some point, just to be clear. But just when they talk about going on holiday, it's always either to America or to the country we're from, pretty much. And it's to the point where they just blindly romanticize it. When it's a case of, you know, there's, there's a reason we're all in Australia and there's a reason we left. And they kind of just have this blind romanticism for it that I don't understand. There's so many other countries in the world and they just keep going back to this one. And that's, I guess that's just not my idea of fun. That's just me. So I, it's kind of made me more adverse to wanting to go back. Oh, crap. Oh, this sucks. <laughs> this sucks. Training at eight would be like on the TV. Alright, no worries, call run, enjoy. Oh, man, this is... This area is hectic. <laughs> can't... Can't get my foot in. I've been slowly grinding my way through this. I hope it's been entertaining, to say the least. I probably shouldn't make this VOD long, because I'm gonna have to fix that silence thanks to the Norwegian music video. <laughs> I'm kidding. Sort of. Shoutouts to the person that pointed that out. I'll tell you what, there's nothing worse as a streamer than going back to one of your videos later and then going, oh, fuck. <laughs> it's broken. Am I not an autonomous person? I am, but at the same time, I'm dreaming to entertain. And also, you know, to enable to enable the conversation, it's best that I just go look, do something that isn't that much of an effort to me. Like, imagine if I just said no to everything. Just nah, I'm playing games. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do what you're asking me to do. Would not go well. Okay, I feel like I can't just fight the gator. We'll see. Oh, 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 here we go. Wait, I rarely do what's asked? What do you mean? When has there be a, been a time that it's been like, a, I guess, like a reasonable request and I've turned it down? R I, keyword reasonable. Fuck! I'm dead. Wait, I'm fine. Damn it. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Get over here. Get over here. Really? Oh. Hold on. When I was playing Terraria and tried to help, that's not a request. Oh, 
Also, to be fair... <laughs> in my defense, that game in particular... Just... The amount of times... It's someone joining the chat to be like the the uh, the Wikipedia in your chat. It happens a lot. There are certain games that just do that. And sometimes you just want to play a game like let the streamer hit their head against the brick wall. You know, it's like I understand that hitting my head against a brick wall is unhealthy and it might cause brain damage. I recognize that. But in the, in the sake of entertainment, I think sometimes you have to let the streamer hit their head against a brick wall. And also when like one in every six people provide tutorials. <laughs> what, what, what was the meme? It was like, did you know you can create cactus armor? That, that, was, that was the meme for a while. Because I think in one day, like five times, not even kidding, I got asked about cactus armor at the start of the game. Ugh, anyway. Hey, Rope. Okay, I have a quick way around here. Wait, it was a request. You didn't tell me to do anything you suggested. But a suggestion isn't a request, I don't think, anyway. <laughs> Define the request. A request to me is like... Can you watch this video, please? Versus advice, which is more like, hey, you're running around in circles, maybe you should try climbing the ladder. That's advice, not a request. I, I wouldn't re be able to remember the phrasing either. It's like, at the end of the day, I can't remember that instant. So sorry if it came out wrong. But also, you know I'm not like that 99% of the time. It's just sometimes, if I'm playing a game and I'm in the middle of hitting my head against a brick wall, <laughs> it's best to just leave me do it. It really is. Oh, okay. And the, the Spanish thing? Okay. I'm not gonna defend the Spanish thing. The Spanish thing honestly defend... <laughs> depends on the mood. The video is so I could understand what the chat was saying. Yeah, I watched it. I didn't say no, I watched it. I'm just being funny by complaining about it. Like I stopped what I was doing right away and watched it. I didn't say no. Do you know what I got constantly? If you know if you know another language and you talk to an English speaker that doesn't know the language when you're at like some kind of social event, the very first thing they ask you to do is say something in that language. So that's why I'm adverse to it.
It's like when you when someone's a comedian and you ask them to be funny. This way, is it easier for me to go back here? Because there was a rope that kind of just leads straight to what I wanted to do. This is funny, you can't fit on the bridge. Good. <laughs> I'm a streamer, dance, monkey, dance. I'm rapidly approaching the point where, like, it'll be say the line, Bart. How about continue what I'm saying in other, in other language? But. <sighs> I only speak Spanish when I'm at home. It's just I don't want I don't want to have to do that. It feels like work. I'm just being honest. Okay. Uh, I was debating whether or not to use that as damage, but I don't think it goes to the corners. Oh. <laughs> okay. How much... You know what? The wand does a lot. I'm gonna use the wand. Hold on. I'm taking off my hoodie. It's a bit warm in here. Jeez, you guys make it sound like I, I'd never do anything for chat. I'm not a monster. <laughs> this is exactly like Souls, man. Just before the boss. Fight something that's gonna reduce your health. <laughs> Can't just try the boss again. Okay. You're implying that I'm stubborn. I mean, I, I acknowledge that I can be stubborn. That's definitely part of my personality. But I'm also tenacious. Which is like not giving up when I know that I can do something. But why is it bad to want to do things yourself without someone pointing something out? Like, don't get me wrong, I appreciate the help always, even if it doesn't sound like it, but... I like to figure things out. And when I'm truly stuck, the language changes to, okay chat, I need your help now. What do I do here? That's the wording, I, the phrasing I use. Okay, hold on. Choose to suffer for two hours instead of accepting I was wrong and getting help. Nikta, I roamed around in The Legend of Zelda, the original one, for 10 years without knowing what to do. At about, I'd say, Six years in, I think I would have had internet to just look it up, but I didn't. And I'll tell you what, it felt so much more rewarding when I finally did figure it out myself. Like, I don't, I don't mind if it takes an eternity for me to figure something out. It 
the games that I played sometimes took years to figure out. I don't know, I'm a bit weird. Some games I, I'm willing to do that and then others I'm just like, oh no, fuck this. And then I look it up right away. I guess it just depends on the game we're talking about. If someone just said, take my hoodie off, would I just rather sweat to death? No, I'm not like that. Not at all. Honestly, it's just in the context of gaming, I think. Ugh, why does this gator have to be there? I fought so many. There has to be an easier way to do this. I can't think of another way other than just hit this thing with the wand. Okay, hold on. Either way, I'm not denying that I didn't choose to take your health back then. For sure, I did not. Uh, that's all I gotta say is, like, I didn't. But I hope you know that I, I don't, I mean, surely, I mean, I guess if you, if it was like, oh no, you know, I'm just going to stop. <laughs> I'm so tired now. Okay. In summary, I mean, well, just sometimes you gotta, you gotta let me hit my head against the brick wall. That's all. What's the game plan for Tunic? That's the game plan for Tunic. Make noises. Um, I'm trying to do it bl as blind as I can, but if so pretty much it's just general streamer etiquette. If I'm just generally saying things like, hmm, I wonder how you get past this. That's just me talking out loud, not wanting an answer. But then if I'm like, okay, chat, this is doing my head and it's giving me a headache. I need help. Ooh got suggestions Ro that's the rolling out of the red carpet <laughs> I think I'm fine so far like, I've got it I mean I know I've probably done things where like people are screaming internally that I've missed something or don't have a particular item, or haven't done a certain thing, but... I think that's part of the entertainment. This is a great game. Oh yeah, I'm liking it. They did an excellent job with mixing chill and nice looking visuals with a Souls game. You do you, I always do.
crap. is in an awkward spot. Let's see. Yep. Alright, well. I'll use it that way. I need to be able to see what I'm doing. This one I just run to the bridge because it's gonna get stuck. Bet there are people that are like backseating out there as well. There are cert there are certain games that lean more towards that. There are games where people are very respectful and helpful. Like they don't default to that right away. And then there are games where it's just like you get a lot of that. Like, you remember that game that I played earlier on in the uh, Pizza Tower? The one that's like, uh, the warrior-like game? That game has become a very, very heavily backseated game, unfortunately. The last three times I've played it, just... <sighs> There's always someone that goes over the basic controls of the character and then just revealing where everything is. Hey, you're going the wrong way. Hey, you missed this item. Hey, that's not going to let you get the, the best rank. Just like... Yeah, it's become that. Man, my reflexes are not good. <laughs> I'll still play the game, but it's just become more of a thing in that game lately. It's alright. Back to the bridge! Just scared the crap out of me. I wasn't ready for that sword. Alright, over here. Good AI. Alright. Let's try again. I just need to be better.
only got one heal left. Alright. not used to its attack patterns. I need to... I was trying to watch it for a bit to see how it goes. That's usually what you should do. It's also 10pm, so it's getting to the point where my uh, my gaming skills are not as, as good as they could be. Ah, oh, crap, I tr attracted the attention. the attention of something. Actually have health this time. Alright, follow me. I was gonna die. It's okay. Your roommate asks you a hypothetical question you'd like to pass on. Okay. Hit me. I look forward to it because the last one was uh was an interesting one. Shotguns. Swing and then swing again. Three swing. I think I have to just wait for when it does the gun attack. That seems to be the best opening. The last question that Lela asked me, just for context, was... What was it? it was, 
forgive me if I m mess up the phrasing, but the question was basically, would you rather have a chicken pop out when you come, or would you rather come when you eat chickens? Something like that. Like, which would you have if you were forced to have one of those? That's the caliber of question that I'm, I'm waiting for. That was the last question. Here we go. If I absolutely had to choose one, date a hardcore furry or a hardcore weeb. For further context, the furry barks in public. The weeb is the type of person who thinks they're actually Japanese because they watch anime. Hmm. <laughs> You'd rather die, cat? Oh man. That is that is tough, cause Okay, here's the thing. The fairy is truer to themselves. Whereas in the other one, it's a form of cultural appropriation. I'm I'm assuming that the the weeb would be like to the point of cultural appropriation, right? Like that character from Parks and Rec that has the full Japanese house and wears a kimono and all that and, you know, lives in the Pacific Midwest. Are we talking about that level? I, I honestly might lean towards the ferry because it's just not a, it's not like extreme cultural appropriation and... I don't know. Well, chat, the floor is yours. What would you pick? Oh, I do no damage for this. What if I'm just not strong enough for this? I always thought of that possibility. Yeah, assume that anything but actually Japanese. Constantly speak broken Japanese, ooh, kawaii shit. Then you have the fairy. Yeah. Do you know what it reminds- I- I once had- For my first job, I worked at a fast food place. And the manager, um, found out that I spoke Spanish. And from then on, just used high school Spanish on me, just to try and relate to me. Like, you know. Whenever he wanted something done, just throwing in this cringe high school level Spanish stuff. And so, yeah, no, I'm good. I'll take the ferry. Thank you. <laughs> you just, wait, you told your roommate you'd embrace the ferry girlfriend thing. Like, if she barks in public, you'd be like, no, bad. Jeez. <laughs> I mean... I feel like uh, if you were to put the two side by side, like, you know... Just... A fairy out in pl public might, might get a... a strange look, and people might avoid contact. But then someone culturally appropriating, man, that shit, like, ends up on Twitter, man. Someone will record that shit and be like, look at this person culturally appropriating. And it starts a shitstorm. And they're not wrong, but... Like, <laughs> there's a difference between appreciating a culture and, like, just 
that, you know? The fairy would cause less problems. Wait, they do shit in public and pick up their poop? Do they? I don't know. To be honest, I have never met a fairy, so... I have no idea. The closest I've been to that... In Melbourne, they had a brawny convention, and they were all hanging out as, at a station once. That's the closest I've been. Does anyone watch It's Always Sunny? Anyone? There's a character in that show that is, uh, one of the main characters' ex-girlfriend from high school. And as the show progresses, like, you know, the whole thing is she believes she's a cat. And every time you see her further along in the show, she's just done something to make herself look like a cat. To the point where she just gets this cosmetic surgery that's just like, man, it's so freaky looking. That's what I'm, I'm thinking of here. Yeah, I don't know. I might not be strong enough for this, but we'll see. Fuck! No, this is the most damage I've done to it. Just gotta make sure I have all my s my stamina, I guess. Fuck! Oh, I'm dying of the timing. I think that's the best time to go, is the triple strike thing. Hypothetical leaves no choice, so you gotta figure, you just gotta live your best life and embrace the lesser evil fate. That's generally all it is, what it is. It's like the trolley problem, but with fairies and weebs, I guess. Just gotta figure out, you know, what, what part do you go down that, uh, destroys the less amount of life. I mean, it's a hypothetical. It doesn't mean that you're into fairies. It's just like given a choice. I went to high school at, I went to high school with someone that got heavily inspired by 8 Mile. And they had their 8 Mile phase chat. I would rather hang out with a furry. <laughs> Just saying. I did not have talent in the slightest. But are you trying to figure out at what point are you a fairy? I don't think cat ears are enough because there are headsets that have cat ears and that doesn't make you a fairy if you have the, that headset. 
There are plenty of streamers that have that headset. And they're not fairies. I don't know. This is this is a rabbit hole I dare not go down. It's just not my point of expertise. Nor am I that curious about it. Oh my god. I hate, I hate these things. Alright, now this is the point. This is the genuine question now. Is there a better strategy to fighting those things other than waiting for them to bite and then leaping? Because so far that's the only way I've found to reliably kill them without too much trouble. But they are getting on my nerves. Because this one's just blocking me from attempting the boss again every damn time. Genuine question. I do want an answer to it if anyone knows. out. Wish you could help. It's okay. I just, otherwise I just find myself running out of stamina too much. These things are so annoying. I'm still having an internal debate about furries. <laughs> what time is it? I was gonna say if you wanted to play Baldur's Gate as well, Lello, but it's like... I don't know how much longer I'll be on this. Also, I, I realize it's late for you. Ah, crap. Good. All right, well, I'm screwed. I don't know how I manage to aggro things that I don't aggro all the time. Yeah, I ain't got shit to do. <laughs> it's fair. Got a long day tomorrow. I got a... what the f... huh? I got a bunch of just documents and shit to read tomorrow, so... <laughs> Animal Crossing? Not today. I'm not feeling it. I mean, just pending how this boss goes, I might give up. How long have I been here? It's been... Well, it hasn't been a couple of hours yet, I guess. As long as the bot is of a decent length.
But I got the feeling this is just like going the, the fucking offensive. Like, don't hesitate. Not even a little. Almost <laughs> every time I fight it, I'll get better at that timing. I just needed to wait like another half second and I would have dodged it. I think I just need to go with Souls rules. Just, just don't be afraid of the enemy. Just get in there. Just trust that everything's going to be okay. Do I remember the original Space Jam? Yeah. I mean, maybe not the entirety of the movie, but what about it? Are we still on the ferry thing? Are you about to bring Lola Bunny into this conversation? Why well, do I get the feeling that's why you're, you're referencing this movie? There'd be no other reason to bring that movie up right now. <laughs> Given the conversation we've been having. What? You would never. Okay, so what were you going to say? Ah! Lola Bunny, right? I don't know. The Awakening? I mean, probably not wrong. There are a lot of movies from that era that had those kind of characters, like... I forgot her name, but from, um, The Road to El Dorado. I forgot her name. It's been a minute since I've seen that movie. I don't remember any of the other characters' names either. But you know who I'm talking about. Would finding Lola Bunny attractive make me make you a furry? I don't know, because the thing is, it's... I don't know. Asking for a friend, obviously. Like, I don't know how to answer that. I guess a little? The thing is, she's modeled after human features, right? So it's like a bit of column A and column B. Which I, I guess is how the furry thing works. We don't, like, it doesn't have to be such an absolute answer, like, it's either no fairy or full fairy. I think it's a little fairy. It's a grey area.
I love how this conversation is being had with the little fox game. You know? It's fine. I mean, think out loud. I don't think there's an answer to it. Oh shit, I'm dead. I got stuck. I couldn't move. Look, just look, see? <laughs> my character went off the edge. That's not supposed to happen. I got stuck. I, my character couldn't move. <sighs> Alright, I'll have five more attempts and then let's do some Baldur's Gate. I think this is just a thing where I, I need to approach it with a fresh mind and then I'll be okay. Like, I'll play this tomorrow and then just get it right the first time. That's usually how it goes. I love how yesterday you came to the stream, like, after a night of drinking Lelo, and now the questions come out completely sober. <laughs> just like, hey Will, what do you think about fairies? Oh, you've been drinking again, Lolo? No. <laughs> He's trying to come out as a fairy and wants to skype the chat on how we feel. I mean, I wouldn't see him any differently. At the end of the day, it's none of my business. If it makes you happy, man. God bless. Well, the thing is, like, it wouldn't be a case that he became like this overnight, like, it would just be him. As always, right? At least I imagine so, I don't know. This is going down a weird path, let's, let's change the subject. correctly. Alright. This is attempt number four. I mean, four remaining. Jeez. I think the right call is just to go super aggressive on this. the money. Okay, I'm happy I dodged that once. Ugh, I just dodged the wrong way. Okay, I'm getting better at the timing.
god. What the hell? Why does this thing have to be here? It's just wasting my time. The thing is, I, I don't think I need to heal. I, I think it's a case of if I really mess up that badly, I'm dead anyway, so... Hey, Lala, what did your housemate answer, anyway? <laughs> what was your... What was your reaction to that? Just... Seemingly out of nowhere question. Stop it. I can't take a hit from this thing. Ugh, man. She went with the wave, really? Okay. I mean, it's just how the level of weeb we're talking about is just comical for it to be anywhere remotely close to that. It would have to be. I just, I really just want to fight this thing without having to go through this every time. I think this is the part that's making me tired, it's just... It's not this thing, it's the gator. It's purely the gator. Nah. Yeah, I'm playing poorly. I think I'm just gonna have one more attempt at it. When I'm playing like this, it means I need to stop and give it a rest. That's the thing, I love these kind of games, but I can't put more than three hours. It kind of reaches a point where it's just... I'm not playing well, and then it just starts getting frustrating, so I don't want to reach that point. I just need to approach it with a fresh brain tomorrow, and it'll be fine. I think, I mean, this thing isn't even a gator, it just has two legs. It's its own thing. It's just so tanky. And you can't just keep rolling away from it, because it just attacks so quickly. Come on.
I gotta say, this is the most souls this has felt so far. Up until this point, eh. It's definitely started entering more of a Souls-like game territory. Okay, here we go. I'm ready. Not good. Okay, I'll be fine. What bullshit? I'm getting it closer to, <laughs> to halfway. Alright. Last attempt, and then let's see Baldur's Gate. I don't know if this is going to run in 1440p. I may have to swap to 1080p. We can give it a try. Last time I did it in 1080p. But if it seems to be running choppy, I'll... I'll turn down the quality. I've been eyeballing, like, new computer stuff. Not that I'm getting one in the immediate future, but I'm just being aware. When next tunic? Probably tomorrow. As long as tomorrow is not a long day, I'll, I'll do it tomorrow. I'm trying not to have too many gaps between this one because... I want to stay in the rhythm of how to play this game and not spend too much time away from it. If you don't see it for a day, it'll be back the day after. That's typically how it goes. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> that doesn't count. I mean, I didn't die. I didn't die. <laughs> okay. Thing. Nah, I'm re restarting it. Oh. Can I not s Dark Souls run past it? Um, let me try. I'm willing to listen to that. Because <laughs> I, ha I have asked, <laughs> like, a strategy. That's a valid strategy. I think at the very least I have to fight these two. Alright, let's go.
All right. I guess I'm running past them. that attack I just can't get the timing right like I I did it a couple times I want one fair attempt at it where I don't die right away that's all I want to feel good about it that was a shitty attempt I listen to people, just sometimes I don't, and <laughs> when I don't, ex expect to be here for a couple of hours. I mean, I don't think I can really do anything with that. I'm gonna get my stamina in the back. Holy shit, dude, what am- what is- Can- can you please, sir, leave me alone? I would like to heal, please. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> My god, just let me heal! Thank you! Oh. How many in a row was that? Got pretty much all of them. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> After all that, oh come on! <sighs> oh, that's so not fair, man. Like... <laughs> Do I... do I just go... <sighs> one more! I feel like after that I have to do one more. I had the rhythm down, man. <laughs> the panic of wanting to heal. And then when I finally healed, I just lost it. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so annoyed. <laughs> Alright, gamer face on. Dude, how, how many in a row? It, it would have been at least six, right? Like, I'm not imagining it. It was at least six.
Is this the game you bought for my birthday? Oh, uh, no, the one that you bought for me was Little Gator Game. I played that earlier on in the year. My brother got me this one. Very similar look. Very similar. That one, unlike this one, is just wholesome all the way through. Alright, actual, actual final one. This is it. Alright. distance. Alright, that's all the magic. Stop. Why am I not avoiding that one all of a sudden? Let's go. Fuck it. One more. Um, one more. This is definitely stubbornness kicking in. I got tricked into thinking I could do it just by having one good round. Without question, I'm not not kidding. Actual last attempt. I have to stop. I 
can do this. I, I can do this. 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 Hey, sir. <laughs> I can do this. I can do this. <laughs> I just need to not pay attention to my own health bar, that's it. I think that's what fakes me out, is like, I'm trying to keep track of my health and I need to stop doing that. I just need to focus 100% on the dodging. And just... Assume each hit is my last. Well, I, I guess I did say five more turns. D just what? There was like a third of the health remaining, right? Like, I got that close. <sighs> I'm so close. Alright. Oh, that was bad. No. <laughs> did it just turn it into oh Ah, oh, did a new attack. They hadn't done that before. What the fuck is it supposed to do that? Okay, well... <laughs> yeah, I mean... I know I said last try, but that felt a bit... <laughs> I didn't dodge because it just hadn't had done anything like that prior. You know, yeah, I mean, maybe it has like a panic phase, it's possible. <laughs> trying to be too clever.
Whoa, whoa, whoa. It went straight into that. Okay, all the way up. All right. Definitely has a panic mode. <sighs> it has a panic mode. The panic mode is, is I have to go pretty YOLO on it, I think. That's the closest I've gotten. I can do this. Yeah. Okay. I, w I was watching it. I was, I was watching it, I just wanted, I knew I wasn't going to get that one, but I, I think I know it's shit now. It's going to be tough, but I got it, I got it. Okay. That's just when I'm making progress. I have to keep trying. It's when I'm hitting my head against that brick wall and nothing is changing. That's when I stop. But I think... Okay. <sighs> Alright. No, you know what? I'm going to save the beam for the end. Uh, Alright, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to save the beam for the end. I ran out of stamina. I should have not been so greedy. But I think if I get it down to the health I got and I have the beam, then I'll, I'll get it. Because then I don't have to fight it on, on its terms. Can't wait for the shambles flavored G Fuel. It'll be chicken flavored. I know that doesn't sound appetizing, but I'll make it work. Like some sort of fried chicken. <laughs> now you know what? It'd be mango flavored. What am I talking about? I tried to give a non-serious answer. The serious answer would be mango. Got Sam to recover. I'm getting better. Just 
Just have to believe. Again, I, could just, I just wish I could just go try again. <laughs> just without this little bit at the start. Alright. I'm gonna I'm gonna enter my, my gamer position, which is instead of leaning back in my chair, I'm gonna put my hands at the desk with the controller there closer to the screen. Alright. Gamer pose, here we go. Jojo gamer pose. I'd be so uncomfortable. Jojo poses are always just the same as what they are in fashion shoots. They just keep breaking it, like. Doesn't matter, I'm going. I mean, look, at this point, it's just, just go. Doesn't matter. All right, let's Oh, you dick. Is there any way you can even avoid that one? Like, if you're in the radius of it. Fuck. Oh, jeez. I can't believe it just did that to me multiple times. <laughs> All the other times where it just keeps doing the move that I've learned to dodge, now it's starting to do this one. Alright, I'm... Ugh. If I don't get it this time, I, I mean it. Like, now, no more memes. If I don't get it, I, I should stop. It's just... As much as I want to get it today, I think this is definitely one of these, like, fresh brain cases where... I come back to this tomorrow, I'll get it first try. Especially given the progress I've made. It's 11.30 at night here, like, at this point, it gets very difficult. <laughs> Reflexes just start going to shit. <laughs> Alright, I'll try my best, but here we go. I didn't think I was going to get it.
Yeah, that attack. I have to let Stamina recover. Fuck, that quick. It's not in panic mode, like, what the fuck? There was not much recovery time from that one. The thing that's throwing me off is sometimes it lets you get in two hits. And then sometimes it just attacks right away. And I just, I don't know. I don't see how to tell the difference. It seems... Uh, maybe I just haven't been perceptive enough to pick up on it. But that's the one thing that I, I can't figure out right right now is just how to differentiate between okay it's gonna let me get two attacks in versus one attack it's just when it's about a third health i notice it starts doing that I've been teasing, um, what do you call it, Baldur's Gate 3 for like the last hour now, but 11.30 on the clock, that's when I'm stopping. Nice round number. <laughs> wow, okay. Fuck me then. Yeah, alright. Two minutes remaining until 11.30. So... Probably the last attempt. Blame that one, one attempt where just suddenly the fight clicked. You can blame that attempt. All of a sudden... It just seemed like it fell into place. Alright, here we go, here we go. Yep, there's only one minute remaining. So, absolute last attempt. That was fucking lucky, holy shit. I need to recover salmon here. Stamina recovery.
stamina recovery and health. Double back rolled like an idiot. I could have had that. <laughs> could have had that. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Like, I was thinking, okay, just, just, just back away, and then start using the. Uh... <sighs> I double tapped. I bricked it. I bricked it so hard. I could have had it. I could, that actually could have been the one. I just needed to step back and shoot with my wand and I would have had it. The wand is enough to take down that remaining health. Yeah, all right. That that's it. <sighs> yeah, this is straight up going to be the next time I play this. It's going to be the fresh mind will, will make me win. It's just these tiny mistakes that are preventing me from getting it. But I have I have to leave it here. <laughs> all right. Sorry, I tried, but it's a, it's eleven thirty at night. I think. My ability has, has peaked. That's it. Anyway. If you are checking this out later on YouTube, thanks for sticking around to the end. Hope you enjoyed today. And, uh, remember to click the buttons and all that stuff if you want to support the channel here. Thank you to those that have been doing that so far. And also, I'm sure two other videos have popped up where I'm hitting my head against another brick wall in some other game. So hopefully you want to check that out. Until next time, bye YouTube. See ya!